Rolle's theorem is another uh, theorem that's tested mainly conceptually in this class, and it's very similar to the mean value theorem. In fact, Rolle's theorem is really just a specific case of the mean value theorem. So if you haven't watched that video already, I suggest you do. And remember from the mean value theorem video, you're looking for where the slope of the tangent line, the derivative of your function, is equal to the slope between the endpoints. So Rolle's theorem has the same setup, except in Rolle's theorem, you're guaranteed for the theorem to work that the endpoints must be at the same y value. So no matter what we have here, here's A, here's B, you can see here that if we applied our mean value theorem and didn't call it Rolle's theorem here, what would we do? We would say, oh, well, we need to make this slope here between uh, the endpoints equal to the derivative. But if you're guaranteed that this a and b have the same y value, let's just call it y for now, then you're guaranteed that the slope of your dotted line is zero. So the Rolle's theorem just introduces a third condition. Your function has to be continuous, it has to be differentiable, and f of a has to equal f of b. If so, then you can probably guess what this is going to guarantee that you have. Similar to the mean value theorem, you're guaranteed that somewhere on this graph then, the derivative is going to be, like the mean value theorem says, the same slope as the dotted line, which we know then is zero in this case because it's horizontal. So you don't need to write the f of b minus f of a over b minus a because you know it's going to be zero if the endpoints are equal. But remember, Rolle's theorem only guarantees that your derivative is going to be zero for sure somewhere in between here. So if you have a function and you take its derivative and set it equal to zero and you get a few values, the only ones guaranteed by Rolle's theorem are the ones that were in the interval a to b. Remember, your c here has to be in this interval. So that's a very tricky uh, trap answer on some test questions in that you'll, they'll include a C that the derivative of it is zero, but it wasn't in the interval. So that's what you need to be careful about uh, using Rolle's theorem.